What's up guys? We are back on American Farming. I've got Bo here alongside me and we got a lot of work to knock out today. Currently, we have $222,000. I actually got rid of some of our money because we originally cheated some in to where we're at a realistic money amount. So to fill you guys in where we're at, we have a cow calf herd right now and we have eight mother cows over here and they're pretty close to producing calves soon. So we should have some baby calves potentially very soon. They are good on feed. They're good to go. And then over here we have our steer lot and I think we have like 50 or 60 head. Let me check. Okay. 48. We have 48 head in here. These guys are going to need some feed soon. So our hay should be ready to start cutting soon. We'll get them some more feed. The calving pen is good on feed right now. And in case you're wondering what farm I'm on, I'm on the main big cattle farm that's on the northeast corner of the map. This is the biggest cattle farm you can get. There's five different farms. This is the biggest one. This is definitely one of my top two favorite farms. Currently, I've got a hired worker out and we're putting on anhydrous with the 715 quad track. So we're knocking out some anhydrous. Now, I got inspired by a screenshot from the American Farming Discord of Overkill. And we may be doing some overkill today. I'm gonna try running this tractor on the small square baler just for craps and giggles, honestly. Just 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 to see what happens. Um, so we're gonna run the 715 on small square baler, but we got a lot of work to knock out ahead of us. This is gonna go to corn. This field's gonna go to corn right here. And this is field, this is field 23, which is ironically 23.71 acres. And my other hard worker is currently planting beans. Now we are gonna plant over some straight corn. You guys will see right about now. And that is just because we were doing some testing originally on the save game. And so I'm gonna reset these fields and we're not even gonna take that crop off there. But most of this field was harvested, some of it wasn't. So he's rolling, he's knocking out the headlands and we are going pretty quick with the 36 row planter and the row track. Now, if you guys are super interested and you're playing American Farming a ton and you're interested in the game, check out the Facebook group, American Farming Game Group. I'll throw a link down below. I'll throw a screenshot of the group. It's kind of cool because it's a discussion. You can see everybody talking about the game and stuff. Pretty neat. Definitely check out the group. Okay, we're going to throw the time up to 15x day speed so we can get some more hay in here and keep rolling. I do have some manure. We got to haul some manure too. I better get hauling some of this. I do also have some corn in the bins. So I'm going to hop in the semi truck and... Do I have the rolling coal? Oh, I don't have the rolling coal add-on on this truck. Oh, wait, no, I do. Yeah, I do. I got the rolling coal add-on. But anyways, we're going to load up. We've got a little bit of corn in the bin, and I don't think we're going to use this semi for a while. So what I'm going to do is get it filled with corn and get it to the hog site. And when that hog site's empty, it's going to be ready to go to empty some more corn at our hog site. Because we also do have some hogs. So we will fill this up. Let's see. We'll throw, we'll pull from bin number two because we've got 1,600 bushels in bin number two. And she's filling. Could probably pull ahead a little bit right there. Okay, that thing is full. It's getting close. There we go. Good to go. Swinwad, don't take out the trash can. Oh, that was close. We're good. I do love the rolling coal coming off the smokestacks here. When you go full throttle and then when you go up a hill, it starts rolling coal a lot more. When you go down a hill, it's not using as much power, so it doesn't really like do it as much. But then when you start going up a hill, it'll roll coal. It's pretty cool. Okay, so if you guys didn't know in this series, I do have a hog barn over here. And so basically, I want to be more efficient, more profitable with my corn. And so I could sell it to the grain elevator, but I could also feed it to my hogs, which will make which will end up making me more and more money. So that's what we're gonna do here, right there. Perfect. We're just gonna leave the semi there. Okay, this hired hand is done. He did miss a spot out here. It's because when I restarted him, he had to unfold the implement. So I'm gonna quick lay down some anhydrous right here. And then I bet you our hay is ready to cut. We can get cut in some hay. Drop her down and let's put on some smoke. There we go, perfect. Okay, when we look at field 23, field 23 is has nitrogen on it. We do, ah, shoot, we do need some P and K on this field too. Son of a gun, we need P and K. Okay, we may have to go spread some P and K with a fertilizer buggy, most likely, because uh, I want a good corn yield on this. We'll fold the anhydrous bar up, and I think that's it for anhydrous, so we could probably unhook it from the 715 quad track. And please tell me my alpha alpha is, er, Alpha Alpha. My hay's ready. Oh, my hay is ready to roll. Okay, perfect. We're gonna get a hired worker start cutting this field because the cutting, the mowing part actually takes some of the longest when it comes to hay production. So we can get him started on this field. One thing that we try to do when building this game, and you guys who play it all the time see this, is that when it is nighttime, when it turns nighttime, I hate in all video games, it just gets way too dark. So basically, it's still very bright out. Besides at nighttime, the sky just turns dark, but the lighting stays pretty bright out so you can see and you can play through the dark and it's not annoying that's the one thing that bothered me so much about other video games okay 
We should be good. We're gonna take the time down to 0.5. That way we can get cutting our hay here. I've got two different, actually, yeah, I've got two different mowers. What I could do is I could start cutting both all these fields, honestly. That's what I could do. Okay, we'll drop down the mower and we're gonna get cut. This is field 11. I think this is like 10 acres and it's just a really long rows, like maybe a mile long rows right here on field 11. So it's just up and down. It's pretty narrow. It's going to be a really good hay field. It's going to be very efficient for hay production. We'll start them on headlands here. Okay, we're going to let this guy do his thing cutting and then I'm going to tab to the other. Well, no. We need to get, yeah, okay. Because we only have three hired workers, we need to put a hold on this hired worker. Sorry, Bradley. Okay, so we're gonna get this other mower cut in a different field. Now, I think what I'm gonna do, since I introduced a, introduced a new field to hay, I think, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, the field I'm on, tabbed on currently, I'm gonna get rid of. We're gonna put this into like some type of other production, like soybeans. This field, though, I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna keep to hay, so we'll have two different fields to hay, because I don't think we need three, and I wanna get the most efficient fields for hay production because we're running so many machines on them. So this field right here that I'm on, I think we'll end up just running some tillage, disking up this grass, and turn it to like, you know, corn or beans or something like that. Okay, we'll get this guy rolling. There we go. I'll let him do his thing. You know what I really could do is if we want to run a secondary tillage pass and we want to throw it to corn, what I can do here is I'm going to take the 715 and we're going to put in hydrous on that because this is going to run a, theoretically I should run a primary tillage pass, but this is going to run a secondary tillage pass and it's very efficient and we'll be able to put our anhydrous down. But if you look at our anhydrous up in the top left corner, we only have like a quarter left. I don't know if we're going to have enough to cover this entire field. It'll be close. Well guys, I think this is going to work. We're going to try it though. Maybe I do have to run a primary ready tillage pass there we go nope she works now in american farming there is no yield benefit to go alpha or hay and then corn but in real life sometimes when you when you take a crop out of hay or alfalfa ground usually the, the first year of that crop is usually a pretty darn good yield yield just because like alfalfa fixes nitrogen and then you throw it to corn and it's it ends up being a pretty good yield oh yeah we got the whole crew working right here i forgot the guy's name but we got the hired worker rolling over there and hey he's still knocking out headlands and we got the other guy way down there at the corner knocking out headlands and then i wish i had a third hired worker obviously but we gotta we gotta know the limits of the game sometimes okay so this hired worker is done so that means we can get raking i'm gonna actually have the ai worker rake because i determined that the ai worker can literally rake better than me um, like they do an awesome job and I do a worse job, which is really strange. Usually I'm always better than the AI worker, but not for raking. Okay. So we've got the 1206 that we're going to run on the rake. And then I think I'm going to throw the 715 quad track on a small square baler for craps and giggles. Honestly, I just want to see, I just want to have some fun and then we'll bail the rest of it. And there we go. AI worker is going and the H and S merger is by far the way to go. If you're doing, Hey, you need to have the H and S merger, merger pretty much. Cause it makes things so efficient. That is sweet. <laughs> I don't know why this camera view looks so cool. It feels like we're flying a drone next to this thing. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. I'm zooming in. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, we're gonna let the AI worker do his thing. Like I said, it literally does a better job than me at raking. For some reason, it doesn't like mix up the ends. When it gets to the end row, it just does a perfect job on the end rows. What I'm gonna do here, and this is just for fun, is we're gonna disconnect the 715 quad. I, I will have to hook up to the hydro bar later. I am gonna put this thing on a small square baler by a hay rack and bought a baler. This is inspired by the American Farming Discord. What is the most overkill thing you can possibly do? I think this may go down as the most overkill thing. <laughs> oh yeah. We may only need 95 horsepower, but I think we're gonna use all 715 here. I really wonder what would happen in real life if you ran this. You've run a 715 quad track, full throttle, bailing hay with a small square baler. That's some whistle and diesel type stuff. He should, he should start getting into some ag here. And Rebecca is driving to the row entry. Oh, just imagine the neighbor's looks. They see this thing going down the road. A 715 quad track, small square baler, and a hay rack. It does look kind of neat though. Gotta admit, it looks real nice. My goal is to bail this entire field with a small square baler, and then the other field over there we're gonna bail with just a normal, probably, honestly, probably round baler or the large square baler. Let's check in on that AI worker. Oh, he is almost done. Okay, perfect. Here we go. We'll move the baler out. This is our moment. <laughs> the, the track may be run over the windrow a little bit, not gonna lie. Drop her down. Let's get bailing. 
Oh my gosh. Look how fast we're filling up this, this hay rack. That is insane. Maybe we do all need all 715 horse. Like, my gosh, dude. We are pumping out bales like crazy. <laughs> what is this? Is this real? <laughs> Holy crap, dude. This is insane. Oh, there's actually going to be a new update where you can tow multiple wagons at once. I forgot to tell you guys that. You can't do it now. Like, it won't fill the second wagon. But if you want to tow, like, two wagons at once, you can do that. Like, behind a pickup truck. Wow. We're getting a lot of hay off this thing. Okay, guys. I took a screenshot on Instagram and tagged Case IH. We'll see what Case H has to say about this thing. I told him we had to use all 7 or 15 horse behind this baby with how much hay we're getting. Actually, we're going to be full very shortly. Right now. Boom. Nope. We got one more row. Stop missing some grant. Stop missing it. And we're full. Perfect. We'll fold her in. And basically, I'm just going to cut across. I probably shouldn't do this. And this is probably why you have your fields closest to home. But I'm going to cut across here and just go dump it in the steer lot. Because I'm guessing. Let's check real quick. I bet you the steers are empty. Yes. Yeah. They're out of feed. But the calving pen, calving, ooh, calving pens are on low too. I guess we did run times like 15 speed. There we go, and we'll unload her, perfect. We do need to get hauling out some of that manure there because I got manure filling up like crazy there. Okay, so we gotta keep bailing, but the other field, and this is the field I'm super excited for, this field is done, um, mower is done here, so we're gonna get the h &S merger rolling on this, and oh yeah, this will work good. Oh yeah, this is gonna work great. And then we'll run and we're gonna park the mower. I'm just gonna, oh, I'm gonna whip it around. I'm just gonna park it next to the other mower and we'll just get them lined out right in front of the shed. There we go, should be good. Oh yeah, we are rolling. Got the in-cap view. You gotta be careful with the in-cap view cause it's like this tractor's so high up and it's obviously not meant to run a square baler. It's kind of tough to see where the windrow is, you know, from like a first person point of view. And there we go. We are almost full again, but we got that field complete. We almost basically got like two full hay racks off there. Plus I missed some, there's some, uh, there's a little bit of grass sitting on the ground over there. So basically like two full hay racks is what we got. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, we'll dump that. Perfect. Now this spot like works really good to park equipment. Like, I don't know why, but like all my trailers and stuff that I'm not using at the time, I just kind of park behind the bin set in the grass. It works super nice. We'll disconnect that. And for our next baler, we're gonna use a normal tractor. Not that the 715 is not normal, but this thing is just overkill for a baler. I want to try that because some guy in Discord had it. And I was like, that's kind of cool. Okay, we'll disconnect. So what I'm going to do is we've got the fuel cultivator in the back of this shed, which we actually haven't used for a long time. I'm just going to do one secondary tillage pass on the um, on that field, which will literally take, because we can run the fuel cultivator super quick, like third gear. So like 10 mile an hour, which this shouldn't take long at all. And then I'm going to buy a manure spreader and start spreading manure on that small field there because it's, it's right next to the manure pile. There we go. Get her hooked up. Then we'll get her unfolded, drop her down, and yes, this will work very well. Let's see, let's get this guy lined up. Should be good. Yeah, because he'll he'll roll pretty quick. He'll knock this field out super quick. Okay, so that means fertilizer applicators. We're going to buy the Meyer. The big manure spreader requires 140 horse. Got to figure out what tractor I'm going to run that on. Not sure yet, but we're going to purchase that. Um, and then this is a little cheat I end up doing. I always just reset the, well, what's the first tell on? Nothing. I don't think it's on anything. Okay. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to save some time. I'm just going to tow it for 50 bucks. There we go. So we'll run the versatile on this manure spreader. And as soon as that field cultivator is done, we'll start spreading some manure. Making my way downtown, walking fast and on down. And there's some of our, do we plant corn or soybeans there? I think soybeans. There's some of our soybeans. Yes. I'm pretty sure we plant soybeans there. Okay. So we're going to pull in here and then fill this up with manure. There we go. She is filling and it's full. Now I'm going to run a hired worker on the manure spreader because I want to get started bailing. So as soon as that hired worker is done with this field on the 715, we'll get going. So I'm going to wait, which means we got to get the baler hooked up. What do you guys think? Small square. I, I think I'm going to go since we got the big square baler back there. I think I'm going to run the big square baler. We'll back the round baler in the shed. I'm just going to park it next to the square baler, the large square baler. I can't tell which ones I like better or what one I like better because I do need to sell probably one of these. I do like round bales, but then again, the large square bales can hold more capacity of hay per bale. So that does work better. Okay. We'll disconnect it and then hook up to the large baler. Okay, well, we're waiting everybody to finish their job. I'm gonna, oh, oh, there it is, the semi. Ugh, skip past it. I'm gonna tab to the semi and we're gonna feed some corn to the hogs. I think what I gotta do is, because some time has passed, so these guys should need some, some corn in here. Yeah, so these, ooh, wait, wait a sec, wait a sec. 
Are all these guys at 325 pounds? Huh, all of them are at 325. I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Oh, these guys need sold. These need sold. Well, we'll unload it, but I need to get that livestock trailer. We need to sell these guys because these guys are max. Wait, let's see. What is the market doing for hogs though? Ah, we missed it. May would have been the time to sell. It's still it's still not terrible now, but May would have been the time to sell. We could probably sell some hogs now. That'd probably be a good idea. This field is going to be extremely efficient because like, look at the width of this field. It, this doesn't, this worker doesn't have much left, but the length of it is perfect. Like basically it's going to end up being like four passes with the baler. This will, yeah, this will be perfect. Okay, we can start bailing. We should have enough to start bailing. I'm gonna drop down the baler and we're gonna roll here. Okay, there's so much stuff to do. I'm trying to do a lot of stuff all at once right now, but this fuel cultivator just got done. So I'm gonna clean up just like this corner area that it just missed right there. And then one more corner area. Did I just miss that? Come on, put it in reverse tear. I can't believe I missed that spot. I thought I hit it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. The fuel cultivator is all done. So I'm just going to clean up this one little corner that AI tends to miss. Drop her down and we should be good to go. And then I've got one more hired worker slot so I can hire him out to put manure on here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll fold up the fuel cultivator, get that all folded up and then get the hired worker started. The hired worker is going to run out of manure super quick, but luckily we're really close to all the manure points. So this should work pretty good. I need to stop putting my equipment all over the farm, but for now I'm just going to, well, no, we'll swing it through here. Oh, this might be too tight. Oh my gosh. Oh, it fit. Okay, perfect. Okay, for now we're gonna do the lazy way of parking. I'm just gonna pull the fuel cultivator, the tractor in the shed. Okay, let's go fling some manure, baby. Let's do it. There we go. Get a hired worker going. Should be good. Like I said, this is gonna run out of manure really fast, but this does have P and K and nitrogen all in the manure. So this is gonna work really, really well for us. Okay, while that's doing that, I'm gonna tap to the baler and we're gonna get bailing. Okay, now what I was trying to say is on the square baler, I realized what is the better baler. The better baler, guys, is this square baler. Because as you see, when it's empty, it just keeps going. It keeps filling up. Okay, see this? But when the round baler is like empty and unloading a bale, it doesn't take in the grass. Um, that's something we could probably change on our end, but this probably means this baler is a little more efficient because it's always picking up grass and throwing it into a bale, it seems like, if you look here, because it's not stopping and waiting for it to unload. Now, if you have a round baler, what you can do is you can stop when it's unloading the bale and you won't waste any hay. But if you keep on driving when it's unloading the bale, it will waste a little bit of hay. So theoretically, this baler is probably the best baler um, because as you can see, it's just automatically dumping it. You don't have to stop to dump off a bale in the back. Oh yeah. And we're gonna have a lot of bales going. We are gonna have a lot of bales off this field. Something about just seeing all your hired workers going is just so peaceful. Just see that guy going. It's just like your 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 partner. He, you're just rolling along with the dude. And then you got your other hired worker going out there, spreading some manure. And it's just so feels so good. I don't know. It leaves you with a warm feeling, like you're getting stuff done. I don't know how to describe it. We are rolling. That's for sure. Ah, Jerry's out of manure. Like I said, he's gonna he's gonna unfill so quick. Okay. Okay, Jerry, we're coming for you. He ran out of manure in a bad spot too. We're gonna top off Jerry with some manure here. Pull up, start filling. Okay, he's full. I'm gonna try this, but I think I can just resume worker. Oh no 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 no! What, Jerry? Jerry? No, I don't. I don't want to do that. Just stop. Sometimes with some implements, you can resume the worker, and it seems like they go back to their spot. But I'm gonna set him up in his his current spot where he was last time. There we go. Jerry, I think stopped like right here. Perfect, perfect. We got him going and we'll go back to bailing. Yeah, word of advice, if you're running hay, use this field or any field that's very long uh, because you have like a lot of operations where you, I mean, you really want long rows is what you want. You don't want to be turned around much. This works like super good, super efficient for bailing. Okay, I got a farmhand running that row to finish off that row. He's gonna make like a weird turn probably, but it should be good. I'm gonna fold up the merger and then take this back to the farm and we're gonna go grab the uh, pickup and the gooseneck trailer. See if we can get these loaded up. Okay, got the pickup and this should be quick. Quick question for you guys. Do you guys like auto load or would you rather have had it where you have to manually load every load with bales? I, er, pfft, what? He'll load every load with, with forks because I feel like loading it with forks manually, every one would take a long time and bailing would not be profitable at all. It wouldn't be the move. Maybe I'm wrong though, okay? We're gonna see how good at, we are at driving here. Oh boy, that's gonna be tough to get. Oh, got him. Got that one, got that one. Full throttle, let's see how fast we can pick up bales. 50 mile an hour. Oh yeah, slow down in the ends. Oh, this works good. This works really good. Oh, okay, 
we're full. Shoot, I've got a bail caught under the trailer. Son of a good. Come on, baby, get over top of her. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to pull in here and unload the bales. That's why it's super nice to have your hay fields really close to the farm. So I can just swing around there, go back out to the field. Boy, there's a lot of hay bales along here. Uh, I think it's a hired worker. Yeah, I've still got him going. He's just pushing all the hay bales to the side. I missed that bale back there. Okay, I gotta stop the hired worker. You're good, man. I don't think we're gonna be able to fit... Yeah, we're not gonna be able to fit all these bales. Okay, we gotta go and load these. Perfect. Oh, we are efficient. We are moving along here. And I learned this last time you're bailing. You can actually pull off a bale that's on, stuck on the back of here. It'll attach. It should. Okay, never mind. It's not out all the way. But some of those, you're able to pull off the baler. And there we go. We should have all the bales. I wonder how full feed's going to be. So hog farm all the way full. Uh, let's see. Feedlot is three quarters full. Cabin pen. We need some, yeah, we need some hay in the cabin pen. We should have calves very shortly. I don't know why we don't have calves. We should have a few calves coming in very, very shortly here at the cabin pen. So I'm hoping at least. It seems like they should be coming in shortly, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching American Farming. As always, thanks for your guys' support. For those guys that play it and stuff, I enjoy playing it and I'll keep posting videos, keep you guys updated. My goal is one to two vids of American Farming a week. That's my goal. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.